Alright, hey everybody, um, mailbag starts in, I don't know, a little more than five minutes, a little less than ten. Um, when mailbag starts, I'll be on the good mic. I'm not right now, but uh, just in case, watch your volume when you switch to ten o'clock on, uh, on the stream time here. I'll say that again at ten, I'm sure. Alright, we'll be right back. Okay, okay, okay. You need to stop playing with that. I know. I'm over there making it so tempting. Yes, this is Logan's new toy, old toy, I guess. These things do not last long. You guys want to play with it? Yeah. in this chair, right? These things are incredibly sturdy. I don't know, it's a little bit, a little bit of lean though.
Can't reach your phone from here. One more mic check. My phone says it's about time to get rolling on mailbag. I think I might need to take that chair from them after all, but that's okay. We'll do it in a minute. And what else? I was going to check one other thing before we got started. Somebody remind me what it was. Nothing? I got nothing. <laughs> okay, well, whatever it was, we're just going to pretend like uh, like I know what I'm doing here. Technically, we got it. Oh, there we go. 10 o'clock. It says on my phone now, at least. Okay, uh, we're recording already, so I guess I can just get going. Uh, oh, I forgot to check where I am in the frame. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Let's just make sure that looks good. Hang on. In fact, I think the other thing I was going to do is push that camera down just a little, but let me see. Yeah, it's fine. It's a little high, but it's not. It's all right, right? Is it okay? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so, mailbag today is... Uh, today is um, August 5th, and uh, the news for the week. We always start with the news for the week, and this week... Um, well, uh, this one, Little Raindrop, got her spay this week. I think that's the only big news. And then the remaining two kittens, Drizzle and Sprout, uh, who's right behind me, I guess, uh, will be getting their spay next week. I don't remember which day. Uh, it feels like midweek, maybe Wednesday or something. I don't, I'll have to check the calendar. But uh, they'll be going for their spay uh, next week. Um, what else is news, guys? Anything? Anything special? The kids upstairs, uh, they're just over a week old now, and their eyes are all opening right on schedule. I think today, seven, eight, nine, today, would today be 10 days old when we expect their eyes to be opening on average? So um, they are right there. Some of them are uh, probably all the way open. I haven't quite looked yet this morning. And uh, some of them are sort of just getting started. So they're, they're great, Perfect, perfectly average little kittens, just the way we like. Um, so they're also super healthy up there. They're little, uh, fat kittens. It's real good. Um, just, uh, yeah, good stuff. Um, I can't think of anything else that's news. I feel like I'm just forgetting something that's huge, uh, that I wanted to talk about, but I haven't, I haven't got it. So, um, so the mail that you see here in the room today is the mail from last week. Uh, I brought in what was, I said last week that I hadn't even brought it all in, so I brought in the remainder from last week. This is everything that's left from last week and nothing from this week. And my plan is to go through the stuff that's left from last week today and the stuff that came this week tomorrow. Uh, so I think that's what we're going to aim for, but um, we'll see. We'll just, you know, we'll play it by ear like we always do, but uh, that's, that's the plan. So, okay, uh, where are we at? I guess that's about it. Why don't we just get started? Now, I know there's got to be, I, there was definitely like one letter that we saved here last week, right? Uh, and then there was one other thing, too. I'm a little embarrassed about this, but, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and admit when something has gone wrong and you've made a mistake, which for me is, you know, like all the time. I'm, I'm, I've gotten a lot of practice at this. So, um so, uh, let's start with that, actually, uh, before we get into the letters for this week, which has some really cute stickers on it. Hmm. That's cute. I don't, I don't know how well. I know I'm pretty far from that camera today. Sorry about that. I guess I could zoom in a little. Uh, anyway, I got to admit is, uh, as I was cleaning stuff up the other day, uh, actually, not even then. I cleaned stuff up and I put a whole bunch of stuff from the counter into a box. It's been sitting in my office. And then this week, I was cleaning that up and I was going through the box and clearing everything out. And I found two things in it uh, that I didn't expect. Um, I, I guess I just didn't even recognize. Uh, one is this card that says for mailbag in great big letters on it and also says 
Uh, it is from the KACON Planning Committee, and that it was sent uh, like over a month ago. So I don't know how long this has been misfiled and sitting there, but I, I guarantee some people on the KACON Planning Committee were uh, waiting for that to arrive and wondering where it went, and um, they thought it never did. Here it is. We're going to read it today, even though I'm sure it says all kinds of stuff about how great KACON is going to be. Um, and then this came, I think, even earlier. The only date I see on here, I can't believe this, 2-23, uh, February. And it has the Kitten Academy addresses on it, and it doesn't look like... Oh, you know what? I, I think I know what this is. This isn't us at all, is it? Actually, this might not be a mistake on my part. This might be my duct tape. I guess we're going to find out live on the air. Let's find out. Let's start with this, since we know that this is definitely something I missed. Um, either that or a letter that somehow magically resealed itself. I'm skeptical about that. I think I just missed it. That seems far more likely. So, <sighs> All right, here we go. It says, thanks on it. Well, you're welcome. Aw. And there's uh, the globe is inside the thanks. And in on the globe, uh, they've added the Kitten Academy logo on the globe. That's super cute. And inside that, it says, DJ and Mr. A, the world is a better place because you're in it. Thanks, thanks for taking time from the busy academy to join us at KACON. Oh, this is backdated. This must not be something I forgot because it says opening your home to the planning committee was a wonderful bonus and we're so grateful for your hospitality. This card says it all. Love the KACON planning committee. Great. Okay, well, maybe this hasn't been sitting aside for quite as long as I thought. Um, but uh, yeah, that was sweet. We always invite after KACON the people that are involved in the planning of it to come over. And as I, I think I said this in our last mailbag that, um, or sometime recently, that if if we could, we just would bring everybody here. I definitely would have. I just have KACON right here at the house if we could. Um, but it's just a little too big for that. So um, you know, I, I apologize. I guess that's my way of saying I'm really sorry that we can't bring everybody. I, I truly am. Uh, I wish we could. So. All right, let's find out what this is. I'm going to look at it over here, and uh, and we're going to see if I made a mistake, or if I just forgot something completely unrelated, or if this duct tape isn't mine. Uh, this has been there for a long time, so it's probably something I looked at and then I was supposed to do something with. Let's find out. Let's find out. I, I should have looked at it before mailbag, I suppose, considering how very old it is. Bip, 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 bip. Okay. But now, uh, if it wasn't for me, this is going to be a repacking again. Let's see what I forgot. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, it gets more interesting. Hang on, though. Hang on. Yep. Hi, buddy. Okay. Let me peek before I show everybody, just in case it's super embarrassing. Well, it is super embarrassing just because it's something I definitely forgot. Uh, all right, so the more interesting is, first off, the envelope says Tax Deed Department. Oh, goodness, okay, I was worried for a second, very worried. Uh, but no, inside, it says KA, and it appears to be, oh, I know what this one is. That's probably why I didn't open it. Oh, that's so sweet, though. Well, okay, I can give you thanks now, uh, way late. I do remember this arriving, and that's almost certainly why it got set aside, was because I already knew what was in it. Um, and uh, I don't remember and now, months later, if you said you didn't want me to say anything about it, but I don't see any reason why not. Um, you sent us uh, all these extra Sudacal suits. Well, they're not Sudacal um, brand, but they're the identical suits. So they're really nice and nice little sizes for our cats. And you say, I hope all is well at the Kitten Academy. Please find and close some post-surgical suits for Kitten Academy use. Thank you both for your incredible work with mom, cats, and babies from Teresa on Discord. So Teresa on Discord, thank you very much. Uh, just a little bit late on the thanks, I suppose. I, I'm, I hope I thanked you when you said you were going to send these, because I remember that. Um, but I, then I forgot what this was, and they didn't get filed appropriately, and that's all on me. So, all right, that's one mystery solved. How about that? We're off to a good start. And, uh, and moving fast through mailbag 10 minutes in, and uh, nothing opened yet from last week. Okay, so maybe it's time for us to, to get rolling on that. Um, hang on, I gotta, I gotta refile this. This one has the wrong address on it, and I'm trying not to show that because for some reason I didn't cover it up. So let's just put that out of the way. Okay, good. All right. Uh, oh, uh, another thing before I forget, I did not bring in one of the boxes, uh, the box that was very, very heavy. I opened it up instead and took out the note. The note says, Practicals for Till's Petty Cash from R and Z who I know are Raylene and Xenathon. So uh, thank you guys so much for sending practicals. The bag had uh, boxy cat and baby food in it. 
And those are perfect things that we definitely need plenty of. So uh, much appreciated. I really appreciate you guys sending the, the practicals. I like the way you said that. Uh, practicals for Till's Pepper Pack Petty Cash. You've been sending it for a while. I like just calling it practicals. So, oh, I almost forgot to go through the other letters. I was so distracted by, uh, by the fact that I opened that embarrassing stuff. So, okay. Let's start here then. This has a bunch of really cute cat stickers on it and a Scooby-Doo postage stamp. Wow. All right. Uh, oh, there's even other cool cats on the back. Oh, wow. What is this? It's a note that says, Dear Mr. A, I'm writing to let you know just how much I appreciate the live stream. I had a beautiful cat when I lived in California. She was a street cat that my family adopted. Aw. But when we moved to Oregon, I felt it was best to leave her where her litter mates were. One of our neighbors took care of her after we left. Good. Uh, watching the kittens on the stream grow up is enough to ease the process of not being able to have another cat. Thank you. Well, you're super welcome. That's really sweet. Um, it was, uh, this was sent, uh, written on what appears to be some kind of an index card. It's been a long time since I've seen one of those. Um, but you did not sign it or anything. All I know is, um, you moved to Oregon and you used to live in California. And uh, thank you so much for writing to us. I love the cute little cat stickers you put on everything. I hope you intended to send this anonymously and not uh, just forgot to sign it because that would be a real shame. But, uh, but I appreciate that. It's, I'm glad that we can um, provide you a way to see some kittens, even if you don't get to uh, have yours with you. So I know how hard that's got to be. I can just imagine. Okay, uh, let's see here. Our next letter comes to us. Uh, I was going to say, um, I don't know, something about the envelope, but it's actually pretty nondescript. Yellow, canary yellow with just a little cat head sticker on it, stamp on it, I should say, not a sticker. Inside we have graph paper. Today is a day for people writing on unusual papers. We got an index card, we got graph paper. Who knows what's next? Uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I'm writing you this letter to recommend Teaspoon for assistant faculty at Kitten Academy. Granted, he's young and inexperienced, but in the nurturing environment of the KA campus has shown great capacity for growth and intellectual engagement. Additionally, we've got a numbered checklist here. Number one, he would stay in the best and only home he knows with people who adore him and kitty colleagues who accept him. Number two, he can continue care with the veterinary professionals who've gotten him through his bumpy start and are familiar with his case from the beginning. Number three, it will save you and all his fans from the sadness of saying goodbye to that little old man slash alien face. Thank you for all the work and devotion you give to these cats and for sharing it with all of us who follow each litter. I have lived with cats for years, but I learned something all the time from watching your channel. Sincerely, Becky. Uh, Becky, thank you so much for writing. I appreciate it. And you know, it's a, it's actually good that you wrote this letter because uh, we've had this these exact same points made uh, many times by people that we've talked to on Discord. Oh, good job. <laughs> the little teaspoon. That was teaspoon right there on the camera work. He was standing on the camera, which I, I mentioned earlier. I actually said aloud that it wasn't going to stay if anybody put the slightest pressure on it. So there you have it. Um, there takes a special tool to, uh, to put that camera, uh, to, to tighten or loosen it because it's a security camera. So the tool is not special enough to really add any security. It just makes it inconvenient. Um, but, uh, it means that I'm not going to be able to tighten this down right now. I'm just going to have to pick it up and hope that they don't push it down a second time as much as they love it as being the only thing over here that they can sort of stand on. Okay. Let me take a look here. I reckon that's good enough for us. And this has been pushed out of the way by the kitten, so let's just push it back over there so it doesn't look half out of frame weird. Now, uh, where was I? I was just responding to Becky. Um, Becky, so, uh, and not just responding to you, by the way. Like I was saying, um, many other people have asked us these same, or tried to make us these same points about adopting teaspoons. So, um, First off, I'll let you know that uh, DJ is on your side here, um, and uh, I shouldn't say sides. It's not about sides. We're all on the same team, but um, DJ has also been making a strong push for him. Now, DJ has also made a strong push for many, many other kittens in the past, um, uh, so it's hard to tell for me you know, how serious she is about it because... 
again, um, she does this even when she's not particularly serious about it. And um, yeah, that ambiguity has, I think, already kind of, um, you know, like I didn't realize how serious she was about Tommy back in the day. And I found out much later uh, how important he really was to her. So uh, that was a bit of an eye opener. And I don't know whether teaspoon for her is a Tommy or if he's a teaspoon. I suspect he's not a Tommy. Um, uh, that was a, a pretty unique situation. So um, for my part, uh, I, I, you know, and I think DJ, D, DJ definitely recognizes the points that I'm about to say are my points. She, she understands too, you know, uh, it's, it's a nuanced situation, but I don't feel like adopting more cats here is good for us uh, and good for Kitten Academy. Um, I think we're already stretched a little thin, frankly, with five faculty. And to add another would just make it that much more difficult. And I know it's, a, it's truly a slippery slope, I guess. Or is that the right uh, idiom? It's, it's something where, you know, if we did adopt Teaspoon, I'm sure would be fine, would get by. But, um, you know, every little bit, it, it adds and adds and adds until we can't do Kitten Academy anymore because we have <clears throat> too many cats to take care of on our own. So uh, I don't want to get there. And in fact, I, I really have been pushing hard for us to reduce the number of faculty, which just means <clears throat> waiting until there are fewer faculty. Uh, you know, it doesn't mean like adopting any of them out or anything like that, uh, but it does mean being real staunch and, and firm in not adopting anybody uh, and for as long as it takes, uh, which could be a decade. Uh, you know, fingers crossed it should be because Eddie's our oldest and he's 13, something like that. So he's got, you know, a decade probably. So that's my broader point. Um, now, the finer points that you make, I'd like to respond to because they are the exact same points again. So I'm sorry, uh, Becky, I don't mean to call you out on this. You're just saying what everybody's thinking. Uh, so I appreciate you just being the, the opportunity for me to respond to it. Um, you say he'd stay in the best and only home he knows. That's, that's true, but he's very young. And compared to his overall lifetime, uh, you know, that, that this is the same arguments true, for, I think, for any cat that we adopt out, which is, uh, you know, this is the only home most of them know until they get adopted out. But the amount of time they spend here, it's very tiny compared to the rest of their lifespan. So making that initial change to give them a home that can care for them fully, I think, is warranted. And by the time they've been in the new home for six months, then they've been there longer. And it's the place they've known for most of their lives um, in, in the mathematical sense. And from there, you know, it only it only becomes more familiar. So uh, it pays off, I think, in the in not even the long run. I mean, we're talking six months before that's more their home than this ever would be. Um, he can continue. This is well, and then the third is it'll save you the sadness. Yes. Well, that's that's going to be a very tough one. But, uh, you know, what I said to DJ and I think I've said to the fans before I'm going out of order. Uh, sorry. What I've said about the sadness um, to everybody, I th and I think and especially to DJ is uh, I am going to be unusually crushed when Wellington and Squall go. Um, you know, it's uh, I'm, I'm far more attached to them than I think that I have been to um, to, to most of these kittens in quite a while. Uh, and I think some of that is because of the extra work, of course, that I had to put into their upbringing. But I think most of it is because of that extra attachment they have to me. I do think a lot of uh, how much I like a kitten, it's very uh, directly proportional to how much they like me, um, which is to say, you know, most of them I like quite a bit. Uh, but these guys are, are something else. So uh, my point just being, I guess, that if we're going to measure which kittens we adopt based on how sad we're going to be when they go, uh, there's a lot more kittens that I, I'm going to have to adopt. Uh, so. I don't know. Um, you know, I understand, though. I do understand. Uh, and we're obviously going to make a really strong push for uh, all three of the kittens I mentioned, Teaspoon and Wellington and Squall, all to go to adopters that, that we feel are going to keep in touch because it's going to be really important for them. It's important for all of them. Uh, and, and having adopters that keep in touch is the number, the number one thing that lets me keep doing this at all. I would just be heartbroken uh, so many times over if we didn't have that. So... 
so then the last point, number two, I think, is uh, you say the familiar doctors. He would be to stay where the doctors are already familiar with him. And the interesting thing about that is I don't think that would really be the case even if we did adopt him. The cardiologist that he is seeing, the specialist that's doing most of his work, and um, the doctor that's going to be doing his spay, which is a different doctor, not the cardiologist. I don't mean to say they're the same doctor, but both of them are specialists um, and are uh, are ones that we picked sort of out of, um, I guess, opportunity. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking for, but what happened was we were recommended a specific cardiologist to go with at a specific practice, and we called them up, and that cardiologist was on vacation for like a month, and we weren't going to be able to see them. But the, the vet said, we've got this other cardiologist. He's very good. We can book you an appointment with him. So we said, yeah, let's do it. So that first, the cardiologist was chosen as sort of a substitute for the one that we wanted. Um, and he's great. I mean, he, he is great. So it wouldn't be the worst thing if he got to keep seeing him. But his office is in New Jersey. He's going to go for his heart surgery in New Jersey. And I just don't think if continued uh, meetings with the cardiologist are a thing, that's going to be the cardiologist he's going to go to in the long run. We're going to want to find somebody who's closer, maybe even the one that was initially recommended, and uh, probably stick with that. So he's going to change doctors and the cardiologist. And the one that's doing his neuter, I might have said spay a minute ago, the one that's doing his neuter um, uh, is uh, one that is just happens to be at that same practice, um, which happened because we needed... You know what? It just it just happened that way. I'm I don't need, I'm sorry so far off, but we got to get through mailbag. So it just happened though. The the guy that we picked for his neuter was one that we picked for reasons that would not have us going back to him. I guess is the point. And I'm sure he's going to do a great job when the neuter eventually happens, um, but uh, probably not one that he's going to see again. So um, both of those doctors, by the way, at the same emergency vet, uh, so to speak. Now they don't only do emergency services, obviously. But again, not a place that we typically would go to for primary care. In fact, the one that we asked to do the neuter initially, he was like, why is anybody asking me to neuter a, a, a cat? Like, this is not what I do here. Um, but then, you know, once he, he heard the whole story, he definitely understood. He's like, oh, I get it. Yeah, 100%. In fact, he doesn't even want to do it until later. So, uh, okay, that's neither here nor there. I'm glad, Becky, thank you so much for bringing those points up and giving me a chance to ramble about them and to tell, talk to everybody a little bit about a um, little teaspoon. And uh, I just, I, I appreciate it. So I hope that made sense. Thank you so much for that. Okay, now let's get into opening some stuff. Actually, speaking of opening some stuff, I think some of you have been uh, looking at this up there on top. It is, uh, if anybody knows what this is, it says right here, love, Norway cat. Uh, so this is the, I think the only note here, it says much love, squeeze a kitten for me, love, Norway cat. But we know this is brew cookies. And I think it came from Norway cat because Norway cat uh, must have won the Oracle. Um, by predicting the uh, birth date of the new kittens upstairs. So uh, what always happens is that Brew, uh, from Brew Cats, who is a wonderful person, always um, runs a, a sort of a betting pool on when the mom cat is going to deliver her kittens and how many kittens. Uh, but uh, it, nobody bets. There's no money. It's I guess I shouldn't say pool because nobody pools anything, but everybody on the Discord gets to sort of... Uh, guess when the mom cat's going to deliver and then brew has always sent some of her cookies to whoever it is that guesses correctly uh, but in many cases they say you know what i don't need the cookies send them to mr a and that's what happened here and uh, i would show you the cookies but there's no cookies in this box come on uh, you guys know me i saw this box and no way it was going to make it to mailbag so yeah um thank you so much norway cat uh that's really sweet of you to send those cookies to me and also to brew. I think it's so cool that you do that for all the mom cats. I just, I, you know, I, I really, you've gotten so involved in your own fostering. Um, I, I really wouldn't have expected you to continue that on our behalf, uh, but you do. And I think that's wonderful. So thank you so much for that. Okay. Uh, this says Kitten Academy Endowments on the outside. Oh, I should not have opened it that way. These are those bags that have that little bits of like styrofilm, styrofoam fluff inside, and they go everywhere if you open them through the side. Uh, all right. We got some toys. We got some notes. Uh, Chihuahua, 4.1 inch mice, um, 60 count. Okay. I don't know why. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, no, it does say 4.1. Those 
Oh, maybe they measured with the tail stretched all the way out. There's no way those are four inches. Um, anyway, that's cool. Grab a few and toss in endowments. We always do. They're great for that. Thank you so much, Lisa, for kittens. Uh, three bags, 14 each, which is 42 real fur mice. Grab a few and toss in endowments from Lisa for kittens. That's great. That's the toy they were going so wild for. That might still be what they're playing with back there. Is one of those little white real fur mice exactly like these. So uh, you say three bags. And there are, in fact, three bags. That's exactly correct. Okay, uh, Lisa, four kittens. Fantastic for filling out endowments. I, I really appreciate it. These are fantastic toys, too. Big winners all the time. These little rattle mice uh, and the, the little fur mice are just big winners all the time, especially for kittens. They growl and run around with them in their mouth and have a good time. So those are wonderful. Let's see here. I need to get... I missed another card. Look at that. What do you know? Let's open that before we keep going. It says, okay to read. Sorry for handwriting. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm sure we will uh, fumble through it. The outside's handwriting, and that's easy enough to read. Let's see if it carries on or not. Inside we have, wow, a very cool teaspoon cat wearing his blue glasses. How did that happen? That's a, that's a cute coincidence. Look, buddy, does it look just like you? Let's get a comparison since you're right here. We need to go get his glasses, of course, but uh, I'm not going to get up for that. So that's cute, though. Oh, I see there's some sort of a donation in here. Thank you so much for that. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, I'm just going to put it right in here for now. And it says, greetings, Mr. A and all who attend the Academy. Oh, it's Neela Kungle, Kungle, and I've been quiet for a bit, but watch when I can and love all the kittens and cats at the Academy. Please accept this for your war chest, because I know all those cardiology appointments will be expensive. Sorry, I've not been around to keep in touch and ask my usual Q&A, but I do have one. Do you ever say you are a YouTuber or do you reply kitten foster when asked so? What do you do? Keep up the good work and keep on rambling. Love from Neela Kungal. All right. Well, thank you so much. That is really sweet. It's great to hear from you, by the way. Um, and uh, that's okay. You know, it's just, it's nice to hear from you once in a while. Just know that you're doing okay, um, whether you send something for the war chest or not, <laughs> just for the record. But it is so generous uh, what you sent for his little war chest. And, uh, um, uh, you know, we're going to take the very best care of him. But it's so nice to have your help on that. I just, I really do appreciate it. So, um, okay. Um, so you said uh, whether I tell people I'm a YouTuber or whether I tell people I'm a kitten foster. I usually say kitten foster because YouTuber, I think, is just way too misleading. Um, and also, I think I'm a kitten foster first, right? And a YouTuber kind of second. We really do just do this to make sure that the kittens get adopted. And anything on top of that is just uh, icing. So um, that's, that's our number one concern. So I do. I usually just say kitten foster. Uh, there is, I guess, one exception, which is that, that I did register Kitten Academy as a business here uh, in Connecticut. We, we had it uh, going as a, an official business in Illinois for a while, and it was, it was complicated, so we, we shut it down and then moved here. Uh, when I registered in Connecticut, now Kitten Academy, the business, is officially a like videography YouTube business. And I did that because of, well, reasons. I did, we don't need to go into big rambling here, but uh, trust me when I say uh, it made a lot of sense to do it that way. Um, so, uh, so in that sense, I have told someone uh, that I'm a YouTuber first, um, which is, I guess, the city. <laughs> so, so there we go. Okay, uh, let's see. New mom cat arrival means time for some blankets. Aw, oh, for K.A., you are at the best place in the world, sweet girl. Thank you for everything you do, Mr. A from Frozen Tundra Crew. That's perfect. So Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you so much for sending blankets for Till. Uh, she needs them. I need to clean her room so much. I've been saying that for three days now, and uh, every day it gets put off for some reason. Uh, that room is, the whole floor is just little bits of food and litter. Oof. Uh, okay, these are really cute little uh, receiving blankets with pastel butterflies and pastel flowers on them, and, and then one that's just a, sort of a gingham pattern. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, these are going to be fantastic. These are going to look so good with the kittens on them, too. Uh, I don't know where to put these. I'm just going to put them right there. Let's keep rolling. i got to keep pushing this thing forward. I need more coffee today. Uh, let's see here. Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you again for the blankets. Those are wonderful. 
Oh my. Okay, this is a lot of a toy. And I grabbed two things that aren't the note. So uh, hang on, let's put these back here. Well, there's got to be a thing that is... Okay, so this is a whole bunch of smart rotating ball. Uh, and it does look like one of the little smart uh, balls that, that uh, roll around on their own that we have so many different varieties of. I'm trying to remember this one. I, I feel like it's very familiar, so we must have used one at some point. Uh, wow. Well... Uh, there's just the, the not notes in here. I'm surprised there's not a real note in here. Go figure. So let's count these up, uh, okay, and see how many we were sent. And in the meantime, whoever sent them, no clue on the outside, Kitten Academy Endowments. Well, that probably means it's Lisa for Kittens. Uh, so my guess it would have been in the first place Lisa for Kittens. She always likes to send some sort of fun little electric toy, electronic toy, which I like too. So four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten little tiny um, electronic, and they're USB uh, charging, so you don't have to replace batteries or anything. That is really fun. Um, that's uh, that's going to be a good one. Uh, having a little ball that rolls around on its own is a great way to keep kittens entertained for a long time. So these are perfect for endowments. I'm going to put it over here in the pile of stuff that is going to be endowment pile, I guess, until we open something big enough to put it all into. And so far, I believe it is entirely also a Lisa for Kittens pile. So that all works out. Um, okay. <clears throat> Got to keep rolling here. Let's open a box and see what we can do about uh, getting some boxes going. What do we got here? This one says, oh, this one also says Kitten Academy Endowments. So maybe more Lisa for Kittens. Let's see if that's true. Let's see if this one has a note. Well, it's got a lot of things in it, that's for sure. Not the note. Also not the note. Okay. It's got um, all of these bags of toys, and they're the apparently good, good stuff. Um, because I see... Uh, oh, oh man, the really good stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is not just a random collection of toys. This is a couple specific toys with a bunch of attachments. Uh, I think you can see. I had to dump it out. Uh, but So uh, we've got all the attachments. We've got the usual kind of suspects there. We've got Logan's mice. We've got feathers. We've got these little uh, uh, mice with bells on, and they've all got loops so they can each be attached. Uh, oh, a big pink puff ball. That's cute. A little brown puff. We've got some more feathers. So lots and lots of attachments. And the attachments go to, I'm going to say, three toys... Uh, but it's really, I think it's supposed to be two toys, or maybe even one toy plus uh, some some extras. So what we have here, this is so great. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love this set. I, I might have to order one of these. Um, we have, uh, these are suction cups. These are the, the really nice industrial suction cups. Oh, a little bit different than the set that we have. I think probably just as strong, though. Actually, not any different. Oh, I see. They just, they have to, some assembly required. Okay. These are exactly the same ones we have, but uh, they don't have the, the pipe fitting piece on the top. It comes separately and you just got to screw it in there. Great. Uh, so these are the really, really, really nice suction cups. They come, uh, they're a little bit adhesive in the first place, which is great. And then they've got the, like the power lever, like you used to put a GPS on your car window. Boy, I'm old. Uh, nobody does that anymore, do they? Um... Anyway, uh, it's got the like, suction cup lever. You pull it down, it really suctions it onto something. And we've got one exactly like this that you may have seen us use a couple times. I've even put it on the window right here behind me. The kittens go crazy for it. It is so strong. And this has two of them. There's two suction cups and two rods where the other one had just the one suction cup uh, and a spare rod. So this is really generous with the really, really nice suction cups on it. And then in addition, but wait, there's more. There's also a metal door hanging toy with a couple of elastic cords, and you can put all the same toys on that and hang it from a doorway. So that's fantastic. And on top of that, uh, I also see I almost uh, dropped here a little uh, bag of these fish, um, uh, what do you call them? I don't know, the little clips. They're like carabiners that you use for, well, for the cat toys. So it's perfect. <clears throat> Those are, those are such nice sets of toys. And we have uh, one, two, three, four, five of those. 
<coughs> and there's the note. We found it. And yes, indeed, it says three-in-one door-hanging suction cup wand adhesive pad. Oh, I did see those. I guess I didn't. I didn't realize those were something else. Um, I think there's. No, maybe that's the same as the suction cup. Actually, I'm because I'm thinking what I saw was just part of the wand, uh, door hanger. Okay, that's fine. Uh, one for each pair of additions plus one for a single. If there are more single additions, I'll try to get more sets. Oh. Wonderful. Uh, I think this is this is very wonderful. This is, I mean, depending on how they get split up, it's plenty. And that is a nice set. So uh, thank you so much, Lisa, for kittens. That is something that they are going to love and that I think will last them a long time. That, that wand, um, like I said, we've got one. It is so nice. Uh, the first time that those, that kind, that style of suction cup wand was ever sent, uh, I went on for a long time about how nice it was before I even put it together. Uh, and it, yeah, it is, it is nice. So, okay. Um, let's keep rolling. So now we have a box of endowments. Oh my goodness. I need to, I need to speed it up here. If we're going to get through all of today's stuff today and all of tomorrow's stuff tomorrow, we got to kick it into high gear here. Okay. So let's see what's next here. This one also says Kitten Academy Endowments. It seems like uh, maybe all the holdovers from last week were Lisa for kittens. Oh, we were expecting this one from last week, though, because she sent a certain number of these ball tracks. And I don't think that we had hit the number that she was expecting uh, last week. So that makes too much sense. But wait, there's something else in here. I don't know what it is. It's soft and it's kind of square. Hmm. This does not immediately remind me of anything. It's funny because I should know all the cat toys. Uh, okay, so you do say uh, that you've included the ball tracks. So there's three of those here. Oh, well, it says pom-pom balls. They're so square. Uh, that does make sense, though. That is what it feels like. Okay. <coughs> Sorry, you say for endowments. Let's just show this to everybody. Oh, oh, it's because of how they're packed. They were actually packed in a very cute... Look, they're almost cubes themselves. Yeah, wow, they're, they're not going to stay that way, of course. They'll fluff up, but uh, they're very cubical right now. That's cute. Okay, those are great. Those are great toys. They're great for endowments. They're surprisingly popular even with the big cats. You know, uh, Puddle's favorite toy was those, and she would run around and, and meow with them. Uh, so I, I threw so many Charlie balls and little pom, uh, pom balls like that into her endowments specifically knowing what a kick she gets out of them. So uh, thank you so much, Lisa Four Kittens. So far, this is a very Lisa Four Kittens heavy uh, mailbag. All right, I think we broke the ch chain here, though, because we got, uh, it's a combo breaker. This one just says Kitten Academy on the outside. Ooh, oh, wow, Amazon's next level on the, ba the box in a box. Here they put a bag in a bag. Uh, that's, that's something. They're both Amazon bags, too. That's the thing. That's unusual. There's a really weird label on this, though. Instructions process with ship app. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Well, this is a... Ooh, man, that just hit me like a like a punch in the face. That is some strong catnip. Okay, so we have Yao catnip crayons. And if we look in here... No, there's all this paperwork and no note. All right, well, all we know is they're Yao catnip crayons. They're very strong. Uh, I can definitely smell that catnip. The Yao catnip is good stuff. And I'm going to put them over here in the endowment stuff, and I'll assume these are just split up for endowments because they're perfect for that. Uh, you know, kittens, when they're at Kitten Academy age, not usually too big into the catnip. Uh, some are. There's some exceptions, but very rare for a kitten age kitten to be a catnip kitten. Uh, they usually don't get into catnip until they're a little bit older. So, um, uh, yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't make sense for catnip toys that come in in quantity to be anything but endowments, usually. <clears throat> okay, a couple more bags here in the bag box. Uh, this one says Kitten Academy Endowments. So, we may be back to Lisa Four Kittens here. Uh, indeed, uh, this looks like a familiar item. These are those springs that have the little cloth covering over the spring and a little, uh, actually not little, a long tail. Oh, these are slightly different material, but that's definitely what these are. 
Uh, how come there's no note, Lisa? Wait, oh, maybe there is. Aha, uh -huh. I was too quick to blame. All right, uh, it says, cat hanging spring toy with adhesive pad. All right, those were in the other bag. <clears throat> 12 pack suction cups separately. Oh, you sent the suction cups last week and I was very confused about, uh, not even last week, I think it was the week before, because uh, I remember putting them into the endowments. I was a little confused about how those were supposed to go together. But now that I see the suction cup toys, I think that was the intent, maybe? Either way, um, those, uh, those are good for using. Okay, anyway, doesn't say, uh, just says, uh, doesn't say anything about these, actually. This is, no, it is not about these at all. But it does uh, say these are definitely Lisa for kittens. They're definitely cloth covered springs with little, uh, they got like long, the cloth just goes way off the end of the spring, you know, so it's got like a tail. It's great. These are great. The kittens love them, and I'm going to put them right in there. Okay. Good. Moving right along. Wow, still more bags though. This one, Kitten Academy Endowments. All right. Let's see here. Lisa, you are so good to these kittens. I really appreciate that. Oh, oh, this is a cool one. I remember getting this before they changed their packaging. I remember very clearly uh, that they used to sell this same ball in that plastic uh, cylinder. And it was uh, some really cool packaging. That's why it stands out. Hang on, though. We got a pile of potential notes here and two toys. This is still cool packaging. Uh, they just they probably made it a little more environmentally friendly, which is cooler. Uh, this is the Red Cat Ball handmade cat toy with fresh silver vine uh, harvested in, I'm not going to pronounce this, or I probably even get through it all, Chungju Chungcheong Buk Do, uh, Korea. All right, Korea I got. Uh, probably not even that. Anyway, really cool. So it's a silver vine filled ball and uh, it's really nice. Um, red cat ball. I don't think we've actually seen anybody play with them because we've only gotten, I think this is only the second or third one that we've seen. Um, uh, so there haven't been any here, but they look really cool. So um, let's see. Palm Player Launcher. Please check with K Kittens and Cats whether this would make a good one. Oh, wow. I don't know what that is yet, though. Because uh, I don't think we have that in this one. Smarty Cat Palm Player Launcher. What does that mean? Red cap off for my love, Eddie. Oh, hey, this one is for us. All right. Well, how about that? I'll put it right on Eddie's chair for now. And then we'll open it next time I see him back here. Uh, that's so cute. Well, thank you, Lisa, for kittens. I'm glad I took a minute to talk about it, but I don't... Is that is this the Palm Player Launcher? That's what this is. Oh, okay, cool. These are fun. And now I see how this one is a launcher. Um, so I bet they'll all love to play with this. We can take it off right now since for us to, to test. It is a, a weird toy. Um, let's take labels off. DJ laughs at me for leaving the labels on. Uh, so you can see here, I guess the reason it's a palm launcher is because it's got these three palm balls on the front, but they're like weird hairy ones. Then we've got some weird little ribbons here and then a bit of a string and at the end of the string some feathers. So that's nice, but at the front of all of that is a uh, elastic band, just like a hair tie, just like uh, um, we like to play with custard. It's, custard is just the really basic version of this. This is like the, the poofed up version. So just like with custard's hair ties, you can put the little elastic piece around your finger or thumb, uh, just like playing with a rubber band gun, and then you just shoot it off. Like, uh, here, let's try to find a place where it will land on camera in case... Uh, you watching? Rain? Rain? Don't watch them run. Watch me. Oh, that did not fly. <laughs> that did not fly like I expected. Is that my fault, or is this one just not, not such a shooter? Oh, I just trimmed my fingernails yesterday, last night, in fact, so I'm having some trouble finding something to hook this on for some leverage, but let's see here. Yeah, uh, that's all me. All right, let's try one more time. There we go. Here we go. Ready? Rain, watch me. Don't. Okay, don't watch. Let's just see if we can shoot it. Okay. I gotta say that thing's a dud. Uh, I played with plenty of launcher toys. I've never had this kind of an issue. One more time. Let's just see. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't launch. What's up with that? Hmm. Well, nonetheless, it's a it's a fun toy. Even if it doesn't launch itself, I bet I can get, really throw it. We could always use this to hook it onto a string too. I mean, on one of the the wand toys, that would be fun. Okay. No launching though. Failure to launch. Okay. 
One more. This just says Kitten Academy. All right. Ooh, oh, wow. It's full of uh, some classics, though, I see. Oh, and... Oh, wow. Those are fun. What is that all about? It looks like Logan's toy, but made into dragonflies. I gotta see that. Oh, I haven't seen these in a long time. The Yow Cat and Yellowfish. I thought these were bananas. So, this says to use As You See Fit from Bart and Star. Wow, what great names. Bart and Star. I hope those are your real names. Those are fantastic. Uh, to use as you see fit, Bart and Star have sent three of the Yow Catnip Yellowfish. These are great. Uh, they're the same Yow Catnip as in those crayons. The uh, cats love this stuff. It is really good. And it comes in many different shapes, and uh, the Yellowfish is one. So that's great. Uh, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I think they changed the design a little, or am I just imagining it? The, like, I think these weren't these the same design as the Pollock Fish? Uh, which has like the Jackson Pollock design on it, and uh, it's like longer and pointier. Um, maybe I'm just crazy, but these are great. These are fantastic. They'll be wonderful for endowments. But it's the other thing here, uh, Bart and Star, that I was kind of excited to see. Um, I'm excited to see both of them, of course. They're wonderful and generous. But what is going on in here? These are a whole bunch of the rare Logan toys. You don't see this set uh, or these kinds too many. Look. Here's one with multiple colors in one, a rainbow worm. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a rainbow worm. This might be the very first one I've ever seen. And there's a few of them in the bag, at least three or four. Uh, um, wow, there's a giant, this is both trying to be a giant rainbow worm. It's actually more of a, a different kind of material, uh, which is nice though, because it'll last a long time. I wonder if Logan would play with it. Uh, some more regular rainbow worms. Oh, this one's like a piece of the marshmallow bed material, and it's also got eyes on it, which are adorable. Uh, that's going to be great, too, with an attachment for a wand on the top. These are wonderful wand toys. Uh, but, of course, all of Logan's favorites. Now we've got a bunch that are just yellow and green. They're just like Logan's, although they do have much bigger eyes on them than you usually see. Uh, and then, finally, here's the thing that caught my eye right off the bat are four of these, which are the same Logan's favorite toy worms made into dragonflies. Can you see those wings on it? Oh, wow. Uh, it's a shame that the worm part of this is going to fall apart in 30 seconds like they always do because those wings are going to last a long time, very sturdy. I guess even once you get to that point, you could just cut the rest of the string off and you'd have this little, this green part's probably going to stay because it's full of glue. So you just have like this part. That would still be really fun. So maybe maybe those will last a while in that sense. These are this is fun. I'm so excited about this part and star. Thank you for sending these and thank you for saying as you see fit. Uh, I think those Yao catnips are great for endowments, but I think this might have to go into our secret toy closet. Now I was saying we've got like a nearly infinite number of regular Loganberry worms, uh, which is good because like I said, they they literally last 30 seconds before they're unraveling. Um, but uh, this is a real unique set, so <clears throat> I'm super excited about that, and I want to put it with the stuff that I'm taking out of here with me, where, but I don't know where that went. Oh, it's right here. Okay, perfect. Bart and Star. Okay, uh, thank you one more time. Let's consolidate all of this in here, since this is done with a raindrop. You can get in there too, okay. We'll take our notes and put them over here. And we're going to keep rolling. Okay. Oh, somebody's going for that catnip. Wow. Hey, buddy. You really seem serious about it, but is it the, is it the catnip or is it the uh, the plastic that you like? Oh, oh, hang on there, pal. If I take off the plastic bag, which part are you going to go for? Let's find out. <laughs> Predictable. Uh -huh. Buddy, it's not a toy. That part's not the toy. In fact, it's really not a toy. That's what they always write on these. Oh, he likes it. Wow. Okay. Okay, buddy, but you can't... Whoa. Wow. Look at you. That's some good stuff. All right. You can play with that part. We can figure it out from there. <clears throat> All right. 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to go a little bit over, but it's not going to be too bad, actually. I think we're going to be all right here. Okay, let's see what this big heavy thing is. It just says Kitten Academy. 
Ari's looking for a box to sit on top of. I can see him. Do not open. Well, there's a box in here that says do not open. It says do not open sold as set. All right, well, I mean, what are you supposed to do with a box that says do not open? It's, huh. Oh, I see what we got here. Oh, this is nice. This is uh, the doggy uh, pads. Oh, these are huge, though. These are 36 by 36 inches uh, disposable, like the, the doggy pads, but these are made for people. Oh, I'm showing you the wrong side. I see. Okay, here we go, just like this. Uh, these are great. These, these pads, like I said, we've found uh, all kinds of uh, uses for these lately with all the issues that we've had with this latest kittens. Uh, fortunately, fingers crossed, there hasn't... Well, uh, let me... Let me say fingers crossed haven't been any issues with the poop or the pee lately everybody kind of seems like they're over the problems for now great um although i will say uh there's always stuff we still have the waterproof blanket on the master bedroom bed and thank goodness because last night wellington gets right directly in the center of the bed and just threw up uh like a, a real big watery mess of food like he just over ate you know it's one of those things some kittens if you have cats they're gonna throw up once in a while it doesn't mean anything uh and that it was one of those and it was like i said directly in the middle of the bed it was liquid and it just it, thank goodness the waterproof blanket was there because it just pooled and i could just i got a paper towel i picked it up i put the blanket in the wash i uh, put down a new one uh, my point being, uh, yeah, this kind of thing is invaluable. And um, normally when we have kittens that are like peeing and pooping in the corner, which is a, a phase that they all go through, in the past what I've done is made a tiny litter box and put it where they poop or pee and then slowly get them used to using it and moving on. Um, but with all the messes that we had uh, with the, the last guys, I started putting these in the corners instead, and they were great. So these bigger ones, I think we're going to find a lot of uses for. I should figure out who sent them and who to thank, because here we go. It says uh, right here, thanks, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, for all you do from Birdie V. Birdie V, thank you so much. I should also mention uh, we've been sent some of the, the same purpose. They make ones that are washable and reusable that are about the same size. Uh, and we've been sent, I think we have six of them uh, that are about the same size that are the reusable washable ones. And I'm only mentioning that to say uh, what I've been doing, like on the beanbag in the main kitten room right now, there's one of those on the beanbag chair and then over at a regular blanket that looks nice. Um, so that's also a nice thing to be able to do and to be able to do it with something disposable is also uh, nice. It just saves a little bit of washing uh, so that's also a good option for these. So Birdie V, thank you so much for, for thinking of us in that regard. Um, that is really helpful. And these kids are having too much fun playing in this box. I guess we'll just put this back here. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, okay. Let's take what's next. Uh, in fact, Ari did find some boxes that he's going to sit on now. I don't know if he's in the frame or not, but he's right here sitting on top of the boxes as he does. If you're an Ari. All right, another Kitten Academy Endowments. And I think we know what that means. Ooh, this is another set of a little bit more unique stuff, though. Woodpecker toy for Mr. A, I mean tinies, to look at and bat at. Probably not good for older kittens, question mark, enjoy. Well, that's what I was ooing about. It is, oh, I see. It's a little woodpecker that uh, it, it goes uh, up, I think, a pole when you set it vibrating. I've, I think I've seen something like this before. I hope that's what it is. Um, it's just a pole. Here, we can put it together right now. It's only got like one piece. Interesting enough, the top of this toy looks like it's got a, a poop emoji on it, which it's not. It's just a style uh, element, but uh, very appropriate, so... Uh, let's see, can I get this tag off of here? Hang on, kids. Oh, my goodness. I didn't mean to delay mailbag. I thought this would just come right together, but uh, just give me one second. I am excited to see this thing go. I feel like I've seen this before, but I can't remember where. It's been a long time. And this looks like a very... This is a good version of it, actually. You've got a wood base with a wood uh, peg on the pole that hangs together really well. I don't know if he goes up or down the pole. I guess down uh, is easier or more likely to be true. All right, let's put him right here. Uh, uh, well, maybe maybe he just goes, there we go. He makes himself peck when he's going down. There we go. Now we got it. What do you think, kids? 
<laughs> That's just silly. It's just a little metal weight with a spring and then a woodpecker on it. So when it when it kind of falls down the pole, there you go. That's cute though. I do like it. It's got a nice weight to it too. That's the thing. It's got it's got like a nice little construction and haft and the the woodpecker's cute. So it's a simple toy, but it's something that's appealing. Um, and then uh, there's something else in here. I don't see another note though. Oh, there it is underneath. Okay. 150 mice. Whoa, that is a lot of mice for endowments, you say. Let's see what these mice look like, because I don't think I've seen this box before. Ah, more rattle mice. Perfect. Wow, that's a big box of rattle mice. Boom. Those are the good ones. I'm going to have to put a bigger base on this if the kittens are ever going to play with it. Um, but it is cute. I like it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not going to work for you guys. You're just going to knock it right over for now. So that's a project for later. Where did I put all of our stuff? Right there, I guess. Okay, we'll just set it right there. Perfect. Okay, endowment stuff right there. Good. And let's, uh, Ari, okay, there's only one box I can take that Ari's not on top of. So let's take this. Kitten Academy mail bag is what this one says. All right. <clears throat> well, that's us. It's a box in a box. The old Amazon box in a box. There we go. Uh, but there might be a note in the outer shell. For kittens at the Academy to use, maybe new mom cats, kids, or the Squellingtons. Use as you see fit from Share Bear. All right, Share Bear, thank you very much. Hmm. It says cat house with cushion. Interesting, very interesting. What could that possibly mean? Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, hey, this looks like it's a princess tent. Is that what it is? Ooh. Oh, wow. It's not just the regular princess tent. It's an extra large princess tent. That is really big. It's got a whole support frame, not just the regular uh, two uh, tent poles. Uh, wow. Look at that. It's got like a whole house-shaped frame to it. Uh, I am not, oh, oh, it's got some cool colors too. Okay, let's show you that real quick. It's got, uh, like these lavender. Can you tell it's like a lavender? And then it's got this green that, that's sort of the contrasting color. I like that. Uh, that's going to be real pretty. So I'm not going to put it together yet. Um, but, uh, that's, that's very cool. It's like an extra big princess tent for these guys. Huh. Uh, does anything on here say how big it turns out to be? Hang on a sec. Let's just take a look at the label. It does not. Uh, all I can say is pretty big. All right. That's, uh, that's exciting. Share Bear, thank you. I want to put that out here with our stuff to use. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to set it right there for the moment. You guys, Squall and Wellington are playing with each other through the box. One's inside and one's out. And they don't, I don't think they know what they're doing. They're just, they're playing with the sounds of the box. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Ah, I did not expect that box to be so heavy. I thought that was Ari that was so heavy. Okay. Well, I think we know what's in here then. There's only one thing it could be so heavy. Oh, and it's from Birdie V again. Birdie V, uh, thank you very much. This one is, oh, of course, Nulo. Uh, exactly the stuff that we feed them, exactly the right stuff. Nulo freestyle turkey and chicken. That's great. I love that it comes in these big cans. We go through four of these right now at each meal. Of course, how much we go through varies a lot, depending on who's here and when the adoptions are and that stuff. Uh, but yeah, we go through quite a bit. This is basically like uh, one day of, of use, which is, I'm, it's great. Thank you so much. It's fantastic. I'm just trying to illustrate for people how wonderful it is. Because uh, yeah, there's, you know, it's just never ending. Uh, so, all right, look out, buddy. Now, Custard took Ari's spot on top of the boxes. Oh, oh, wow. I did not cover this up at all. I hope I didn't flash that too much. I don't think I realized that this was not a regular Amazon box. This is a recycled box, the best kind of recycling, uh, the kind that you do yourself. You just take something and use it again. That is the way. So, 
All right. It says on the outside, this is from Chrissy Cat 24. Chrissy Cat 24. Thank you very much. We have the knife guard. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's great. And we have the note. I love the labeling here. Oh, and we've got this really, the note is sealed with actual sealing wax. Very fancy. And I think we know what's in the rest of this. Yeah, it's familiar. Oh, oh boy, I bet you guys can't wait to see these. All right. Hang on now. <clears throat> Here we have a very suspicious looking cat sitting in a garden. Oh, and he's got a pineapple behind him. Wow, subtle, very subtle. Uh, there you go, you can see that with the subtle pineapple happening there. And inside it says, hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, kittens, and KA community. Hope all is, oh, hope all are well. That's, that's correct grammar. Um, KA con was loads of fun. I enjoyed all the games we online watchers got to participate in. Thank you to the KA con committee for once again, putting on an amazing con. I do think the games are some of the best part. They're just so fun. Um, and, uh, oh wow. Those, uh, what were the minute games, something like that? I can't remember what they're called. I'm sure it's based on something that everybody knows that I'm unfamiliar with, but, uh, uh, that those that happened, uh, uh, Megalina, uh, put those on. They were, they were so clever and wonderful. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, you say I've sent my usual toy gift packs for puddles and her April me hours. I've also included a package for beautiful serenity and the KA. Hope many hours of play are had. There are also three packs of delectable stew I received as freebie gifts, but since I have no kitties, I thought maybe the faculty would enjoy them. If not, no worries. Till is such a little love bug from what I can see so far. Boy, isn't she. I look forward to seeing what her precious tinies will look like. Thank you for all you do, and also a heartfelt thank you to this great community. This has become my favorite place to be on the internet. Chrissy Cat 24 on Discord. Thank you so much, Chrissy Cat 24. I'll tell you, you say, uh, you know, exactly what I'm thinking. It's wonderful. Um, okay, let me put this here and show everybody what you have sent. So, like you say, uh, you sent some packs of the delectable stews. These are these are great treats for the kittens. They do love them. Um, that's, a, that's very sweet. I'm going to put this in our pile of stuff to use. Stop eating the plastic. Are you going to be a plastic eating cat, buddy? Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's find you some real toys, okay? Uh, <clears throat> okay, so what you've sent here are your hand knit, uh, hand crocheted. Uh, I'm going to crochet. Hand knit. I'm going to knit. Our hand knit <laughs> toys. Aw, these are so cute. Um, we have one that, uh, what, oh goodness, what, what are these toys? I don't, I don't know if I recognize this pattern that you're using. Hang on a second here. So let's pull out one. This is Wellington's. Each one of these is custom made. Uh, so we have the mouse. I recognize that. It's very cute. Look at that. You've even done a little pink nose on the mouse. He's adorable. Then we have a ball, a classic, with some little tassels on it. Very nice. And then this is the thing that was a little confusing to me. I guess, oh, I think it's a flower. Um, but the colors, you know, make it, so it is uh, like a, it seems like a semicircle. It's pretty cool. And then on this side, it's got like these little pockets. You could probably even like put treats in there that have to find and dig out. That would be a fun use for that, wouldn't it? Uh, so there you go. Just like that. So Wellingtons are this uh, lovely earthy tones, beautiful. And we have one, like you said, for everybody. So we'll show all the colors here. Uh, we have Squall. That's cute. You've drawn little pictures too. We got boots next to Wellington. Squall's got some little thunder clouds. Uh, let's see. This is Drizzle. It has a little purple kitty. It appears to be maybe standing in the rain. Sprout uh, has a little plant sprouting. Baby Groot. We have a Serenity. Has, uh, well, that's pretty abstract. I can't tell what that is. Uh, clouds maybe I don't know that's for you to decide um, we have raindrop I think it's obvious what that is we have brawly that's a cool cactusy color and uh, that's uh, that toy really stands out there doesn't it with her little umbrella on it we have bud with a little blue flower we have the KA faculty with that bright orange that's gonna be fun 
and puddles, which has, of course, little puddles on it. So uh, thank you. These are wonderful. And I know the adopters and their kittens are going to love them. Uh, those are just so great. I can see you put a ton of catnip into these two, especially the faculty one. That's wonderful. Ah, just so great. I'm going to put your note with these so that we don't uh, we don't lose that um, when I go to, to hand things out. So, okay, that I need to put to the side without revealing too much of anything on camera. There we go. I think that's the right direction. Let me just check. Nope, it's the wrong way. Exactly the wrong way. Just turn it that way. Okay, that should work for now. One last box, custard. Custard buddy, come on, you are not, you're not helping, you're, you're so heavy. Oh my goodness, this feels like all the new low. Uh, oh, oh, okay buddy, come on, come on, are you gonna get off the box or not? Okay, oh, oh, it's, oh, okay, it wasn't all him. Actually, it's a very heavy box, okay. I was trying to make a joke. He fell asleep with his little face on that toy he's been playing with, oh my gosh. You guys need to see this, I need to take a picture. Oh no, he just he just sat up. Oh no, I missed it. Well, maybe he'll put his head back down. It was too cute. Okay, let's open this last box. Uh, this one this one says specifically Lisa four kittens. How about that? Switching it up. Uh, oh, and it is Boxy Cat. No, it is not. Oh, oh wow. It says Boxy Air Ultra Light Cat Litter which I think I was aware of as a product, but I don't believe we've tried. Uh, it does say ultra light. It's not, it's not any lighter than their usual 16 pound bag. It weighs the same 16 pounds. It's just bigger. So it's still pretty heavy here, <laughs> but, uh, but that's good. 60% lighter than clay. I'm, I'll be interested to try this out because carrying around all that litter is kind of a burden. Um, so, uh, Interesting, interesting, interesting. We'll see uh, what I think of it. And more importantly, DJ's the one who chose the litter for the Academy. So we'll see what she thinks of it. Um, and uh, I think that will be the important consideration. Okay, be real quiet now. I don't want to have him wake up. Let's just see if we can get a picture of this. It's so cute. He just is loving that plastic, unfortunately. <laughs> That's not a practical, not a practical toy for you to be loving, buddy. There's something else cute happening here, too. Hey, are you looking at me? What are you looking at there? Is it me? Well, I think that was basically it for a mailbag. Thank you so much, everybody, for everything. It's wonderful. You're wonderful. And uh, I'm going to get this stuff put up. But don't forget that tomorrow we're going to do mailbag again. Uh, I think just a little bit later, Sunday's historically the only day I get to sleep in, although uh, I guess I did sleep in a couple few days lately. Uh, my sleep schedule's been really offset. <sighs> um, I blame the, the new Zelda game, uh, which I finished, but then I just I kept on rolling with uh, various other games, so I still get to blame Zelda. It's like, you know, it's, 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 that's the way things are. You just you, you blame Zelda regardless. Um, so, uh, yeah, all right, let me get this stuff put up. We'll see you, uh, well, I'll get this stuff put up. I'll say thank you again, and then uh, mailbag again tomorrow at 11, not at 10. Uh, so that will be the plan, and tomorrow's mailbag, of course, will have all of the stuff that came in this week, and then we'll be caught up, and nothing will go wrong, and there will be no more delays in mailbag, because I'm sure that's true. Uh, I'm not at all sure, actually. I can't get the picture that I really like of how cute this is, but I'll keep trying because it is adorable. Oh, that's actually pretty good right there. We'll take that one. Okay. And you guys just each in your own box, huh? I bet if I just put out a whole bunch of little boxes, each one would have a kitten in it. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me put this picture on Discord. Let me get this stuff put up. Uh, oh, let me turn off my mic before I forget. Okay, we'll switch that out. Here we go.
All right, let's get rolling. I guess Maggie's claimed that cat. Yeah, she does always claim them first and then forgets about them after 20 minutes. Oh, I'm going to stretch it out for a sec. Oh, hi, buddy. I didn't even know you knew how to get all the way up here. That's a nice spot for you, huh? Are you just going to say hi to me? A teaspoon at the top of the tree. Okay.
Hey, buddy. I gotta take this downstairs. Yeah, oh, yeah. You're too cute. Hi, kitten in a box. No, I missed the box. Uh, we're still recording. Gonna, we're gonna open it now, but maybe I can remember to mention it again tomorrow, so it'll be, you know, a little more. I think that's what we'll do. Let's just see what it is real quick, though. Come on, we gotta look. pastor has been wrestling a lot with raindrop. Oh, that's not a raindrop. That's sprout. Cool. Oh, you mentioned this to me. I think on chat or something. You said that you sent another one of the. Uh, I don't know, film canister, uh, glasses, uh, scratchers. Yes. Thank you so much. Wow, that's nice. Um, yeah, I didn't even know where the original one came from or anything. I wonder if it says in here what it's supposed to be. There's a tag on it. Oh, yeah. It doesn't say it's supposed to be. Uh oh. It's been a question for a while. It does not say anything about what it is supposed to be. It just says sleek, modern, and all natural. Okay, well, that's fine. Whatever it is, that's what it is. Uh, Joya, thank you very much. So sorry. You said, uh, I'll try to remember to mention it again tomorrow, mailbag. I bet I'll forget though. 
That's nice, thank you. Yeah, that old one's been around for a while. I don't think it's even ready to retire yet. I was going to look to see if there was any note on the outside about what it's supposed to be, but all it says is color white. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much. I, uh, I left my phone in the other room, so uh, thank you guys so much one more time. I, I really, I really appreciate it. Uh, I wish I had some different words to use for that, but uh, now I got what I got. So uh, thanks so much for helping take care of the kittens, and we'll see you tomorrow for another mailbag at 11. We'll pick it up, all right? Thanks.